Hello, boys and girls. Hi. Let's start with a prayer of thanksgiving to God. Thank you, God, for this beautiful world you've made. Thank you, God, for my friends, and my family, and my school. I pray, Lord God, that you help us in this process. Help us to learn a lesson today about not being afraid um, of whatever life puts in front of us. Amen. So we have our devotion. Our devotion today is from our Daily Bread Kids. Um, <laughs> as you see, tight space over here. But we're trying to get it in here. All right. So something to think about. What do you think about when you go for a walk? How blue the sky is? How the sun feels on your face? Why the squirrels run away as you get close to them? God loves it when we think about good things. But thinking those good thoughts can be hard when bad things happen around us. And bad things do happen. Kids have problems just like grown-ups do. That's why God tells everyone to think about things that are good and worthy of praise. He wants us to remember that he is in control. He wants us to trust him and believe that he will take care of us. So the scripture is from Philippians 4 and it says, Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So what that means is when there's bad things going on, remember to think about some good things too. Things that are good things from God. To put your mind on things that are healthy, healthy and helpful. Today's Bible verse says, think about what is true and honorable and right. Things like this. God loves you and cares about you. God wants what is best for you. And God has a special plan for your life. God will always be with you. The verse also says to think about what is pure and lovely and admirable. You could think about pure snowflakes and lovely butterflies. You could think about the people in your life that you love and admire. When I think about good things, I will thank God. And if you'd like to read more, it says, um, when you do something nice for another person, don't you enjoy being thanked? So does God. Thank him for giving you so many good things to think about. And you can read more at Psalm 105. If you read Psalm 105, it talks about more things to think about um, and tells us what to do, how to think on God's good things. So we're going to be reading a story today about changing our thoughts maybe when we're afraid. Our brains think anywhere from 12,000 to 50,000 thoughts every day. Lord God, let us have those thoughts be on you and on the good things and not on the negative things. Lord God, we give you the negative things right now. We give them to you and we say they are yours to take care of. Help us to um, not be blind and not be ignorant, but to keep our hearts light by remembering the goodness that you bring. Amen. <laughs>